Let's learn how to master the days of the week in Spanish. In the first part of this video, we're going to watch a fun story about two friends who try to meet up but life keeps getting in the way. Then I'm going to teach you the correct spelling and pronunciation of the days of the week as well as teach you commonly used vocab. Make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video when you'll get to watch the story again but this time with English subtitles so you can check how much you've learned. Let's get started! Oye, Jordan, ¿qué tal un café mañana? ¿Qué tal el miércoles? Mañana tengo yoga. Alex, mañana está mi hermano. ¿Qué tal un café el jueves? Muy bien, el jueves. Alex, voy al doctor el jueves. ¿Qué tal el café el viernes? Muy bien, el viernes. Nos vemos. Jordan, el viernes estoy con mi hija. ¿Qué tal el sábado? Muy bien, el sábado. Alex, lo siento. Estoy con un amigo el sábado. ¿Qué tal el domingo? Muy bien, el domingo. Café mañana, ¿no? Definitivamente, hasta mañana. Por fin nos vemos. Sí, por fin. No quedamos un lunes nunca más. If you didn't understand 100% of the story, don't worry, that's why we're here. Let's check out the days of the week one by one. We start with lunes. Lunes is Monday. Fun fact, each day of the week is a reference to a planet or Roman god. So here, lunes comes from luna or the moon. Then we have martes. Martes is Tuesday which comes from Marte or Mars. Bonus fun fact, there's a very famous saying with the day Martes. It goes, en Martes ni te cases ni te embarques, which translates to, on Tuesday neither get married nor embark. Just a bit of traditional Spanish wisdom for ya. Next up we have miércoles. Note the accent on the first E. It means we have to place special emphasis on that letter when pronouncing it. It basically lets us know that it's not miércoles or miércoles, but miércoles, meaning Wednesday. Miércoles comes from mercurio, meaning mercury, followed by jueves. Jueves is Thursday. Jueves comes from Júpiter or Jupiter. Then we have everyone's favorite, viernes. Viernes is Friday. Viernes stems from Venus or Venus, followed by sábado. Sábado also has an accent on its first A, so that's where the emphasis goes. Sábado is Saturday. Sábado comes from Saturno, meaning Saturn. And of course, the last one is domingo, and domingo is Sunday. Domingo is the only day of the week that doesn't have Roman origins. It actually comes from Latin and means el día del señor, or the Lord's day. Let's go over the pronunciation. Repeat after me. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Now, when you're listing the days of the week, like lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo, the days of the week don't follow an article. They do follow an article, however, when used in a sentence referring to a specific day. Every one of the days of the week follows the masculine article el. For example, el martes estudió, meaning Tuesday she studied, or El jueves no vino, meaning Thursday she didn't come. Did you notice the change in spelling? In Spanish, the days of the week aren't spelled with a capital letter unless they're the start of a sentence. So, while you can write miércoles 3 de octubre, if you write comemos juntos el viernes, the V in viernes has to be in lowercase. To form the plural of the days of the week, El simply changes to los, and you add an S only to sábado and domingo, so their plural forms would be los lunes, los martes, los 
miércoles, los jueves, los viernes, los sábados, los domingos. Something similar happens with months and seasons, and the upcoming beginner-friendly Fluent U course will include just that and more Spanish essentials. It's going to have more engaging stories with helpful Spanish explanations. It will be organized in a way that's more effective for learning and is perfect for beginners. And also integrate clips from movie scenes, TV shows and more. You'll also get personalized quizzes and speaking questions to make it all stick. To try Fluent U right now for free, click the link in the description below and start your free two-week trial. Fluent U is also currently having a sale, so right now is the perfect time to check it out. In addition to this new course, the Fluent U app also has thousands of authentic videos, including movie scenes, clips from TV shows, TED Talks and music videos, all of which have interactive subtitles. Each word has a context-specific definition with examples written by language experts, so you never waste time with definitions that are too general or inaccurate, as well as video examples of native speakers using the vocab. So, let's check how much you've learned. What's the first day of the week in Spanish? Lunes. How do you say Tuesday? Martes. What is the article that accompanies the day miércoles? El miércoles. And how do you say Friday? Viernes. What about Sunday? Domingo. How would you say the plural of el sábado? Los sábados. And the plural of el jueves? Los jueves. Way to go! If you want to learn more about articles, check out this other video explaining definite and indefinite articles. Now that we've got the days of the week mastered, let's learn some vocabulary commonly used when discussing this topic. The first thing to know is how to divide the days of the week. The first five days of the week, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, and viernes, are also called entre semana, meaning weekdays while the last two days, sábado and domingo, are called fin de semana, meaning weekend. Moving on, we have the word día, which means day. Its plural form is días, days. For example, es mi día favorito, which means it's my favorite day. Then we have semana, meaning week. For example, la última semana del año, meaning the last week of the year. Can you guess what días de la semana means? That's right, days of the week. For example, estudio los días de la semana, meaning I'm studying the days of the week. A very important word to know is hoy, meaning today. For example, hoy es viernes, meaning today is Friday. We also have the word ayer, meaning yesterday. So you could say ayer fue jueves, meaning yesterday was Thursday. The next word is mañana, meaning tomorrow. For example, mañana es sábado, meaning tomorrow is Saturday. If you want to go even further and talk about the day before yesterday, you would say anteayer. For example, anteayer fue miércoles, meaning the day before yesterday was Wednesday. And if you want to say the day after tomorrow, you would say pasado mañana. For example, pasado mañana es domingo, meaning the day after tomorrow is Sunday. Remember the word for week? Semana. Well, if you want to say next week, you'd say la semana que viene or la semana próxima. For example, mi cumpleaños es la semana que viene, meaning my birthday is next week. And if you want to say last week, you say la semana pasada. For example, la semana pasada fue divertida, meaning last week was fun. Finally, here are the two most important phrases you have to know. ¿Qué día es hoy? And the way to answer that, hoy es martes. 
Now, let's watch the fun video again with English subtitles so you can put what you've just learned to the test. Oye, Jordan, ¿qué tal un café mañana? ¿Qué tal el miércoles? Mañana tengo yoga. Alex, mañana está mi hermano. ¿Qué tal un café el jueves? Muy bien, el jueves. Alex, voy al doctor el jueves. ¿Qué tal el café el viernes? Muy bien, el viernes. Nos vemos. Jordan, el viernes estoy con mi hija. ¿Qué tal el sábado? Muy bien, el sábado. Alex, lo siento. Estoy con un amigo el sábado. ¿Qué tal el domingo? Muy bien, el domingo. Café mañana, ¿no? Definitivamente, hasta mañana. Por fin nos vemos. Sí, por fin. No quedamos un lunes nunca más. Did you enjoy the video? In this next one, you'll learn all about Spanish prepositions with another fun story. Check it out.